Uh, I didn't realize your high school teammate was Kenny McKinley, uh, the late Kenny McKinley, yeah. which rest in peace. And I know I've actually seen you a lot on social media, and we recognize Kenny. And, again, rest in peace to, to one of the all-time Gamecock greats and a great dude from all accounts, a great person. Just just talk about I'd love to hear just because, again, you were his high school teammate. You saw his development at South Carolina. And, again, I've it's been fun because I've seen a lot of your comments. And everybody loves to talk have – the GOAT conversation, whether it's the best quarterback in school history, the best running. Of course, you got to talk right wide receivers, and there's been a lot of them at South yeah. Carolina. And I know you're someone, you're very adamant. Kenny definitely deserves to be in the top two or three guys to ever catch the football at South Carolina. But talk about him as a person, as a player. What do you remember from the late, great Kenny McKinley? Hey, man, I got to I got to see Sydney, Kenny, Alshon, <laughs> yeah. Anders. You know what I mean? The list goes on, though. The uh, young bull came in right right when we left, so it, the list goes on, man. I got to see a lot of great receivers, but Kenny just – Kenny didn't even play receiver in high school. Mm. You know, Kenny was our starting quarterback since he was a freshman in high school. He was a varsity starting quarterback. As soon as we – he was a year older than me. As soon as he became a freshman, you know, he be, he started being a, um, the starting varsity quarterback. It was just amazing, man. He used to he, – he was like Michael Vick in our, in our hood, you know what I mean? Like – do everything, run across the field, run back across the field, uh, shake everybody, throw it for a touchdown. It was just amazing, man. Was, he was an amazing teammate. He was he was my best friend, you know what I mean? He was he was just everything to me. He was my big brother, you know, led the way, you know. I always took care of everybody, you know. And, I mean, the stuff he did on the field was phenomenal, but, you know, the person he was off the field was always just even more phenomenal because he was just he was just, he was just that guy. You know, I, I, we used to ride in the car. We used to ride in the car. And like, oh, he like, say if he hit the brakes too fast or something like that, he'll reach over and put his arm across me. You know, it's, it's like I'm 200, 300 pounds, bro. Like, we good, you know what I'm saying? But it just loves, you know what I'm saying? That's just the type of person he was. You know, like, he, man, I can't, numerous things he did for me as far as just helping me with the school process of learning and, you know, helping my development as a player. I remember when I got hurt my freshman year, I was down and out. He was coming to visit me at the hospital and kicking with me. You know, he was just, he was just my dog, man. And stuff like that, you just never forget. You know what I mean? You never forget, you know. And talking him as a player, he was an exceptional player. I know I talked more about him personally, but he was an exceptional player. Like I said, he played quarterback in high school for us, you know, um, the last game of the year, he freaking threw for like six touchdowns. We lost in overtime against Collins Hill. We think it was like one of the most points scored in um in in Collins. I mean, in um Georgia history for mm. a high school game. We went to a six <laughs> overtime game. It was amazing, you know. And um, he just was great, great dude, man, great athlete. Then to see him transition, to see him put that training in. You know, before he went to South Carolina, he would be at the high school putting in training to get better receiver because he knew he was going to go there and play receiver. And to see how he trained and how, how good he got it got at it and for him to go off and, you know, start right away at South Carolina when he wasn't, you know, he was like a three-star recruit. He wasn't – he was transitioning from quarterback. And for him to break all those records and, you know, be the all-time leading receiver, I don't know if it's still holding up. But it I always hold up in my mind is he's the all-time, you know, game kind of leading receiver. Mm -hmm. And I think receptions as well or something like that. But, like, he just was an amazing guy, man. I can't – you know, I, I love and miss him to death every day. Every time I see 11-11, one time mm -hmm. for Kenny Mack. Every time I see 1-11, yeah. one, one, one time for Kenny Mack. Love y'all always in favor. So, yeah, that yeah. was my dog. 